Hey everyone, welcome to uh, my Prusa i3 video log. Um, today it's uh, stage four here. I'm going to be putting together the kind of the hot end and the extruder. Oh, sorry, the extruder is all put together. I'm going to do the hot end slash cold end as well as mount it to the X carriage. And also part of this as well too, I'll, I'll try to work on getting the actual X, X carriage all together as well. Um, to try to cut it down so that it's just more of an overview rather than a very long video like stage uh, 3 was, I've kind of gone ahead and put some parts of this together. Um, here you can see I'm using the uh, uh, Lulzbot uh, Budish nozzle, version uh, 1.2, as well as I'm using uh, Wild Build's cold end. Um, I've gone ahead and I've attached the hot end to the cold end main body, as you can see here just with uh, two M4 screws by 20 millimeters, I believe. Um, this is the part that I actually modified a little bit, this cold end here from the original um, original one. I had widened it out as well as thickened it up just a little bit here. A main reason to widen it out was to be able to put the mounting holes you see here and clearance the uh, other mounting holes that attach the hot end. Um, the other part that I made custom or modified from the original STLs was the X carriage itself. Um, what I did was I increased this thickness here just to bring the, the whole hot end itself further out. So um, what I've done here is I've put in the, uh, the trap nut or put the nuts in the trap here on each side as well as put the uh, LMA, uh, the linear bearings in here and attach this uh, the hot end. What you want to do is I haven't attached, I haven't really tightened it up yet. Once I get some filament, I'll want to just kind of bring it down the center here, make sure everything lines up here first before I really tighten this down. Uh, that's the only good way. Either that or if you have a long screwdriver, or, or sorry, a long drill bit. Actually, that'll help work really well too. Be able to drive it all the way down and make sure that you've got a nice, uh, it's nice and, and lined up here. So I'm going to attach the... Uh, hot end here using some M4 screws by uh, 60 millimeters All right, so that attaches in right nice and neat. I'll see if I have to clearance these off later once I get to the other part here. So, um, but next part I'm going to do is attach the hinge. And that is actually using another M4 screw by, this is 35 millimeters. Nice. Then we'll attach the motor. I'm using a direct drive motor. Well, it's got a little planetary gearbox on here. Apologize if I'm moving things out of frame. I'm not sure exactly where everything's lined up. Great. All right. The last little bit here are the tensioning uh, springs. And I'm not sure exactly. I found these at the hardware store. These springs, uh, just quick testing. Uh, they did feel a bit tight, um, pr pretty pretty hard. Um, I'm actually going to, uh, I'll have to play with it just a bit just to see how it actually works, uh, or if it's too tight or too loose. Right now, I don't have the, um, I do not have the, 
the drive or the pinch wheel and I do not have a little uh, piece or little bar to attach the uh, 608 or 624 basically attach the, the drive bearing so uh, for now I'm just going to use them at stock length but as you can see they kind of slide in this way and then as you compress the spring they slide into there holding on to it and then to release you can just press up and it's off and you have access to this so they're really tight right now so what I might do is either go longer screws or I may end up just with um, cutting some of the coils out of this spring um, longer screws might just be the easier thing to do give me more uh, um, more play there so but uh, like I was saying before uh, I am missing the drive wheel and that's my phone underneath there so on that note we'll go on to the uh, next stage of this place all right hi everyone all right sorry about that for the last second there with the phone but uh, I do everything on one take and don't do any more so here we've got our completed or mostly complete uh, cold end and hot end combination here. Uh, now we're going to put kind of the whole X system together. Uh, what I've done already, like before, kind of gone through and uh, put some of this together just to kind of speed things along. Uh, this is the uh, bearing end of your X end where the just the bearing is for the belt. Um, as you can see here, I've uh, already installed the bearings uh, as well as I've done is a pressed in a nut here. It was a bit of a tight fit, so what I ended up doing was melting the bearing, or heating up the, sorry, melting the uh, nut into the holder here. Um, I just did that by simply just heating up the nut and then pressing it inward. It gave itself a nice good fit in here. So, um, as well as what I've done here is I have attached my gear pulley here and attached the motor to this end with a uh, three M3 screws by 10 millimeters um, and I also have my X smooth bore or smooth rods here um, I'll put the lengths somewhere around here um, but uh, what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've pressed these as far into this side of the motor uh, this side of the bracket as possible um, we're not going to completely fit it all together because we want to have our Y I'm sorry our Z finished up first before we get it in the final resting place but we can still put most of this thing most of the stuff here together so uh, while we're at it here we've got the two rods in here might as well slide on our cold end slash hot end there we go the bearing installed here Just kind of loose fit for now. Then make sure everything is on the same side and just kind of start pressing this guy in here. Now, what works really well again are these clamps. Makes installing things or pressing things like this together a lot easier. And really, I'm just going to just kind of snug it up a bit. So we aren't going to really get the final distance until we get the uh, disease installed on the other side. But as you can see here, we've got ourselves our X carriage. So uh, there's going to be some alignment uh, right now. But that's going to go later on here um, once we get the Z installed. You can see I can move this back and forth. Um, you need to use your square and actually that doesn't really do anything. I forget. <laughs> but uh, really we're just going to be um, 
finding more about making sure that this is all lined up once we get to the, the Z side of it here. So um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next stage.